straight up and straight in. Pilates was first launched in the 1920s and was widely used by dancers. Now it's catching on again. Get those muscles in the limbs, particularly the legs, elongating. So you have that long, lean look, which everybody likes. Linda McNamara is one of five certified instructors in the state. Lean more with the heels. She teaches one-on-one -on -one using a number of strange-looking machines. With all the straps, chains, and leather, this might resemble more of a primitive torture chamber. But actually, with this one machine called the Reformer, you can perform about 60 different exercises. And three. Nancy Watkins is a believer. She took it up eight months ago after tiring of other fitness fads. Now, I did get the good definition with the weights, but it's not a look that I was after. I prefer that longer, leaner look that they refer to as the dancer's body. <laughs> What's most amazing is when you find out Nancy is a 42-year-old accountant with two teenage children. That flat stomach is a Pilates trademark. We call this the powerhouse. Pelvis to uh, ribcage all around, including the bun. Lift up and arch back. The typical session costs $35, but enough are willing to pay for Pilates to be turning the exercise world upside down. In St. Petersburg, Yolanda Fernandez, News Channel 8. I just feel that there's always somebody here. Linda Kosicki believes she is never alone in her home. Even when all of the other living people are gone, Linda says her house is haunted. I personally have never seen Cora, um, Cora and Charles Downey. But others have. Cora and Charles lived in the home 100 years ago in the 1890s. Their pictures still hang in the wall here, and people say you can still feel, see, and hear their presence in the home. Screen doors open and slam. There's lots of footsteps. If you stop and listen, you can count them. There's 18 steps in the hallway, and there are 18 footsteps. Cora and Charles are buried here not far from the house. Three of Cora's infant children are also buried right here. The Kasikis and others believe that Cora may be haunting the house looking for her three dead children. She's searching. She cries. She, um, the first time she came to Leah, she came on her 16th birthday. And she came through the hallway and she sat at the end of her bed and she cried. This incident and others have prompted the Kasiki family to find out what's going on. They called in the experts. Dr. Andrew Nichols and Russ McCarty are paranormal investigators. Oh, even more here, look. This was interesting, Andy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's rather high now. They are searching for scientific answers for the things many people don't believe. As a child, I've always, I've always been fascinated with, uh, with science, and uh, particularly with the border areas of science, because I've always felt that uh, those were the areas where discoveries were waiting to be made. I believe that there were some footsteps reported on the staircase here. They take readings, they interview witnesses, they look for hoaxes, but they also believe. I've seen objects move in, in houses. Uh, uh, I've seen things being thrown around and in a room and uh, things like that. Of, uh, I mean, there's just no explanation for them. So, oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's rather intense there, isn't it? They've been conducting their investigation at the Kosicki home for several years now, still hoping to prove once and for all these things do happen. In my opinion, it's important to study these things whether or not they have an objective reality. I think they do exist objectively. But even if they don't, it's important to study these things simply because they're an important part of the human experience. For the Kasikis, seeing is believing. The paranormal investigators want to get it on tape. So far, they're still hoping to catch the documentation that will make believers out of us all. Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8. The ninth annual Bay Area Renaissance Festival is underway, and as Night Watch 8 photographer Bill Green discovered in his photo essay, the weather didn't dampen spirits at all. Any time. 
Jack Jim. Jim Jack. Jim. Shall not be shoes. Oh, I'm so kind of A drum roll, please. As Rockley McGlade, the one and only. Yes, Rockley. Oh, <laughs> that was good, Rockley. All right. Did you get under his kilt? <laughs> I hear that's what goes on in your backyard every weekend. True or false? We, nah. we don't have the wenches. <laughs> that's it for now. We'll see you on the weekend. Good night. <laughs> Last February, the Tampa Playmakers had an opening night and nobody came. The audience didn't fill the theater because rioters had filled the streets. But the experience didn't make the cast members bitter, it made them motivated. What could they do to help the kids of the community in which they perform? Well, for several weeks now, photographer Bill Green has been documenting the evolution of the answer for kids' sake. <laughs> It would be mostly a musical, but unlike most shows, which are first written and then cast, this would first be cast and then written, written by the cast. A cast of kids accustomed to playing in the streets, now preparing for performing from a stage. About three or four months ago, I had never sang outside of the shower or my car. I'm scared to death, but I'm, I could do it. I think I'm half stage fright. If I, get, if I get out there. Well, I should be getting, getting nervous, but uh, I, I learned I learn from my... At first, they were uncertain about their feelings, much less the future of the show. But as the rehearsals progressed, you could see their confidence grow. We're family, we argue, we're sometimes wrong, but the answer is love and respect. Improvisation, that's what it really is. It's exciting. I can't wait. To be honest with you, I can't wait. We're all buddies oh, now. <laughs> yeah, we're all family. <laughs> One word sum it all up is just incredible. It's going to be incredible. They finally had been given the opportunity to change their lives dramatically. Not unlike Nat Adderley, who grew up in their community, and now the famed jazz musician was writing the music for their show. And one of the playmakers who formulated this far-fetched plan and who have given so much to bring it to fruition? Well, like all true thespians, they await the audience reaction. But... It's been an odyssey in many ways. It's like it evolves before our eyes. The show opens tomorrow night, a benefit performance. We sure hope you can show up and be there for kids' sake. Call the Playmakers at 248-6933, 248-6933 to make reservations. Let's hope that this is a successful opening night tomorrow. Fill that audience theater. Isn't it? NBC Nightly News is next. empty pallets. You know, when we started the night, they were full. Now they're empty. That's the way we go. Bloom. You're all right. Sometimes you scare them. Oh, my first job back in Illinois with IJ. My store manager, just like the one we got now, he was tough. Like in terms of like 110%. Every, I tell you what, every store director I've had with Albertsons, though, has demanded, uh, you know, that's what they want. You know what I mean? They want, uh, they want guys like, uh, like myself that, you know, want to come in, you know, there's always the negative part, you know. <laughs> Which is like saying, yo. I've never hit a customer yet, but I did run over one when I was 16. But, you know, that learned. You know, I ran over the grocery cart, back home. Cereal aisle, that's where his tray is.
I knew you still love me. Get out of my way, Ego. Soap, run soap side, boy, run soap side. I think soap side. Go, baby, go, baby, go, baby. Two hands, come on. That a way to hustle, baby, way to hustle. Keep it going all night long. This is just the beginning. Here we go, prune juice all the way up to the two. All the way up. Bottom, hole. Come on, I gotta get to work. I can't babysit you no more. Right there, boom. That's it, baby. Reggie and Ego, the most handsomest dudes yeah, in Gulf to Baby Sides. Yeah, Rico, gotta go to work. <laughs> How's it going, folks? Cool. Four, come on, man. Four. Let's go. Go, go, baby, go. Wishbone, boom, craft, boom, boom. Paul Newman, boom. Now you ruined a good salad. You put bacon bits on. 